So hi guys, welcome back to the uh, Cessna 172 flight simulator here at SJ Sim Flight. Now after the recent video I did, uh, I got a couple of requests asking if I could make another uh, on how to actually make your aircraft so that you're just looking out onto the nose where you have obviously uh, just the uh, propeller or uh, part of the nose as well and also just so you look out onto the wings either side. So what you do, you're going to go into File Explorer and when you download X-Plane 11 for the first time, um, it will download Plane Maker along with it. Um, so depending on where your folder is, you go into the X-Plane 11 folder uh, and you'll see a page like this. So you've got aircraft, aerofoils, custom data. Anyway, you go down, you skip down and you go to the application here, which is the first application you see. So it says Plane Maker there. It's a couple up from where you normally open up X-Plane. So you go on to the one that's called Plane Maker. So we're going to double click on that. Uh, we'll get rid of that tab there. So when you open it, uh, it may come up with a Cessna on here, or it may just come up with a kind of silvery tube. I've already opened this up just for this purpose. Um, but what you do is that if it doesn't open up with the aircraft that you want, you simply go on to File, Open, and then you click on X-Plane 11 Aircraft Laminar Research and then you've got the list of aircraft that you have downloaded uh, on your uh, own simulator. Uh, so I'm going to cancel that. So I'm now going to show you how to get rid of each of these parts. Now, on this simulator, I only like to ever have uh, the propeller uh, because I've already got the dashboard. I don't really need the nose and all of this glass um, in front of me. Um, and then I also want just to look out on the side views of the wings because I obviously want to see the flaps move, I want to see the ailerons move, uh, and it's also just a nice feature. Uh, the rest of the fuselage uh, we can get rid of, the tail boom, all of that, uh, you won't, you're not going to obviously see that behind you. Um, so these three parts, so the two wings and then the propeller at the front, and then you can include the wheels as well, depending on how you have uh, your rig set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on to this top box here. Now, obviously you guys might not be able to see this because I've got it very far away and it's on the project screen at the moment. Uh, but we're going to click on to visualization. I'll talk through each things that I'm doing. So you click on the arrow that says visualization. You then click on to objects. And this is the list of objects that this plane currently has on it. OK, so let's say I wanted to get rid of the Cessna cockpit. Uh, we get rid of that object, that object, that object. Uh, we're just going to click down to all of these ones that I'm currently clicking at the moment. This is getting rid of all the interior objects. Uh, so like the compass, the instruments, the dashboard, uh, the seats, the pilot, etc. Uh, once I then click on stuff like the exterior, I'll then show you what is that, what is actually happening. So I'm going to keep clicking down getting rid of everything on the inside because we're not going to need that uh, because everything, depending on what your cockpit's like, uh, you'll have it all in front of you anyway in the real world. So we get rid of that instrument, that instrument, that one, that one, bobblehead. Okay, so the bobblehead, um, it's really weird <laughs> what the normally uh, when you open up, I'll explain, Austin Meyer decided to put a bobblehead of himself, and you may have seen this feature already. Um, but when you click on bobblehead, what will happen is that it somehow seems to get rid of the whole fuse life. But anyway, so each of these things that you click off, you will visually see what happens when you get rid of it and what it leaves you with. So I'm not going to want that because I don't need the front nose or anything like that. Um, I'm only going to want to be looking out onto the wings. I don't want to be seeing uh, the exterior of the aircraft when I look out either side. The fuselage. Now the fuselage, obviously we've just gotten rid of the fuselage, but somehow the, the uh, program thinks that the fuselage is the gear. <laughs> um, so it doesn't really matter what the name of things is, as long as you can see what you're actually getting rid of, uh, that's the best thing to do. So you then get rid of that. Uh, I think I've still got the wheels on mine, uh, just because sometimes I like to look down at them. Um, but you can get rid of them. Again, it's not going to matter that much because you're not going to see them most of the time. Fuselage gear. Now the fuselage gear thinks that it's the uh, propeller, which it isn't. So again, we we're going to keep the propeller because that's obviously a main thing that we want to be seeing on the front of the nose. Fuselage prop. 
<laughs> it thinks it's the wings. Uh, it obviously isn't. So, but we're going to keep the wings anyway because we obviously want to see the struts um, and the two wings as well. The elevators, if they're still there, doesn't matter. You're not going to see them. Uh, they'll just be there uh, in the background that you won't see anyway. The wings thinks it's the exterior windows. We're not going to have the windows because what it does is that if you have these windows on, it creates like a shady colour and you can't see out of the uh, simulator that well. Um, so you want a nice clear view, so we get rid of the windows. The glass uh, interior we get rid of as well because it creates that fady view. Uh, we can have a beacon on or off, doesn't really matter. Uh, lights, we're going to want to keep the lights because obviously when you turn on, say, taxiway or landing lights, uh, you still want to be able to see uh all of those working so this is what we've got left so as i said before i've just got the propeller at the front and the two wings on the side and this is how uh mine is set up on the simulator so once you've done all that my advice is get rid of everything that you want to get rid of and anything that's left on here make a note you'll see on uh where these you'll see like a little eye icon and the ones that you get rid of will have like a fade on them. The ones you don't won't have a fade on them. So for this instance, the fuselage gear and prop we're going to keep, aka the wings and the propeller at the front. So we want to just make a note because for the next step, you're going to want to remember what you're actually going to keep uh, on this rig. So the only things we actually want to keep on here at the moment is the fuselage gear and the fuselage prop. But we already know that that's actually the wing and the prop. So once you've done that, this is just to give you a visualization of what it will look like, okay? This isn't uh, actually getting rid of anything. So there's then a second step to this. So you go to standard, and then you go scroll down to MISC objects, okay? Now I'll bring up this screen. So it'll still show you a visualization of what the aircraft is looking like. Now with MISC objects, if you delete something by accident and you uh, go onto your sim, it won't show up. And once you delete something on here, you can't undo it, you have to start all over again. So that's why I say before, make a note of what you've deleted on the visualization before you do this. And you might not be able to see, but in each of these boxes, it lists what is in with each uh, box on here and what we've just gotten rid of on the visualization. So to actually get rid of objects, you press clear, 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 clear. So we're getting rid of all the objects that we obviously know we don't need. Now, when you start to see uh, the two or the three, four, five, however many objects you're keeping, you don't press clear, you keep those. Because otherwise, like I said before, if you get rid of those, you then have to start all over again. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna keep that one there. We're gonna keep that one there. Perfect, okay, and we don't want those ones. So those were the only twos that we wanted to keep. So we cross off of that. We then go to File, Save As, and then down here you can name whatever you want. You can name it Cessna or whatever name of aircraft you want to keep it as. You then press Save Aircraft. You then go to File and then Quit. And I'll now show you the next step to actually opening up X-Plane and what it looks like on the X-Plane software. So welcome back. Uh, and on here, uh, we've now opened up X-Plane. And you may have seen on previous videos, I've had these views before. Just pull that door in a bit just so you can see. Um, where when I open it up, it gives me uh, not the correct orientation. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is just show you Obviously beforehand we got rid of everything uh, that we only wanted to keep. So we only wanted to keep the propeller, the wings, um, and the wings were part of the uh, horizontal tailplane as well. Um, but if I go on to uh, Shift 2, I can just show you what it looks like on the outside. Now because of the way these cameras obviously are positioned, uh, this is my main monitor. So this is the one that's going to want to be um, looking at the aircraft the most. So you can see what we've done, um, it looks very peculiar, I don't think you'd ever see this in the real world. Um, but you can see that in the middle here, where we are um, obviously sat in the real world cockpit, uh, this is um, what's on the outside of us essentially. 
Uh, so you can see I've just got the propeller at the front because I only want to see what's on the front, um, which is the propeller in this case. Um, I've got the two wings, oh, just gone behind a building, got the two wings as well um, with the uh, two struts. Uh, a couple strobes and lights, all of that, because at night time obviously you like the strobes uh, obviously reflect off the ground uh, and it gives it a cool effect. So we keep all the lights, um, etc. Uh, but yeah, so this is what it looks like on the outside. Uh, if I then go back to shift 9, so you can see this is what it's like on the inside. Now if I press uh, Q, now Q and E basically spin you around, you can see. So, oh, if I just do that again. So if I press Q, I'll go to the left. If I press E, I'll go to the right. So if I bring it around, and uh, now you can see that we are currently... Uh, in the center of the uh, cockpit So we got the left wing there right wing there nice and aligned and uh, Yeah, so we can also go up and down uh, You may have seen me do this in a previous video the other day so you can set it to whatever height you're at um, You know if you're shorter if you're taller you can set it to the required height that you like this essentially is I've said before works as a free view camera so we can go all the way up above if we really want to but obviously being a high wing day craft, we're going to stick below the wings, and I think here's about fine. So, if you got any more questions, comments, or queries, uh, don't forget to obviously like and subscribe to this video. Uh, but also, don't hesitate to message me at SJ Sim Flights, and uh, I hope to see you guys very soon. So, stay safe.